most interesting aspects of practicing medicine is that sometimes you do the thing that's proven to work for this condition, but it doesn't work. And then that person with that condition may go to see all the specialists that there are in the field during this era of history and nothing works. But then they go to some very far out alternative practitioner or practice or technique and something miraculous happens. Now, even though this is not a very common occurrence, in this video, I wanna share what I think is one of the most important healing questions I've learned to have a lot of respect for, because sometimes when nothing else works, this does. Hey, it's Alex Hine, author of the health book, Master of the Day. So I've included the first link below this video is for a free PDF on five daily habits you can do to add 10 years to your life. They're based off of this historical Chinese guy named Li Qingyun, who had these five Taoist practices he did daily to supposedly live over a hundred. So you can check it out, the first link in the description. Now, one thing that I'm very, very interested in, both having been a patient and been a practitioner now, is that there's this idea that all of us ultimately are healing ourselves, right? The patient is also the physician because it's ultimately the body and nature and it is the point of nature to be able to heal and regenerate itself, right? I mean, we've made it thus far through evolution and we're built tough. We can take a lot of damage and still surprisingly live. But we've all heard a story of someone who was told that they were gonna go home, rest, because you're gonna die. There's, you have an unusual cancer, it's very aggressive and it's a later stage and it's very, very serious. But that person, Finally, for the first time in their life, was like, well, if I'm going to die, then I'm going to do all the things that excited me that I never ended up doing. I'm going to do all my dreams. I'm going to travel to all the places. I'm going to date whoever I want or end my marriage. I'm going to go after my greatest passions. And then they lived. And these kind of stories, although rare, are really, really intriguing to me. Because both in my long journey as a patient, trying to figure out my own health problems, as well as seeing patients it's made me really, really trust the intuition of the patient. Now the psyche or the spirit of the person, whatever you want to call that, psycho-emotional life, it often knows what it needs. Now this is kind of a crazy assumption because technically we're colored by our impressions of seeing a physician where our opinion doesn't matter at all. Like what we think is good for us, the physician regularly does not agree with, right? Because they are the expert, they know what to do, they are the healer or the medical provider, but sometimes it doesn't work. Actually, frequently it doesn't work, including the alternatives. Now the psyche often knows what it needs. If that person is really honest and very brave, they trust their gut, they're not talked out of it by authority figures in their life, and they'll learn that they often had some kind of inner compass telling them what they needed to do to heal. You know, even for me, in the time my quote burnout years, near the tail end of it, I was having really severe insomnia that was morphing into looking like a clinical anxiety, clinical depression picture. And over a period of about half a year, I tested more than 50 variables just to sleep, just to have these symptoms go away. And I had never stopped exercising or cooking healthy daily, none of that. It was just stress. But I felt like at that time, I had no stress. It was the stress of the previous year. But nothing I tried had went away. I was doing all these other things that were giving me marginal or tiny returns. And one night I sat down frustrated, basically on the verge of tears. And I was like, well, what else is there? I've exhausted my options. And I was just sitting there looking out the window. And I was like, well, if I could have a genie and snap my fingers get anything that I thought I needed to recover, what would it be? And it thought, I need to be like around family or close friends. And I didn't have a lot at that time that year. I would be around like dogs and pets and the outdoors. So I'd be around people during the day, but I could spend time in the woods or out in nature at night. And then plenty of free time still to work on what I wanted. So for me, I tried 50 interventions in a six month period, thousands of dollars. But you know what worked? I flew home and stayed with my family for three months. And with that family unit, with the pets, with the trees and the beautiful nature in New England, within a week, I started sleeping well. And within a month, almost all the symptoms had gone away that I'd been battling for almost a year with marginal change. So this deeply impacted me because I was going down a dangerous road 
And I was an action taker. I wasn't sitting there passively. But I sat down and ignored all the logical variables that were supposed to work, that were clinically supposed to work, and listened to what I thought I needed. And that's what I needed. And I find that to be more often true than not true. So I want to challenge you to ask yourself, what is your gut saying you really need to feel well? Because you could have broken down my visit home into all these individual biomedical factors. Well, you had social support and social ties. You had dogs, which are proven to make you happier, and nature, which brings down your nervous system. But I was walking in the woods every day where I was living before, and I didn't feel like I had no friends. In other words, it was more of like this kind of intuitive gestalt, a big picture feeling about what I needed to feel well. And you may be feeling that about the job you're in, where you live, whether or not you're going after your dream or fulfilling your potential, or who you're married to or you're dating. What is that feeling saying? Because that can frequently be more effective than any medical intervention that you're treated with. So I hope this little healing question helps. I think it's very, very important. Now again, check out the first link below this video, which is for those five daily Taoist practices that can help you add years to your life. You can check it out, first link below this video, and then I have two related videos right here on this topic.